A farewell appearance for Alfredo Di Stefano, one of football's all-time greats. A very emotional night for him. Played, of course, not only at Hampden but also at Parkhead. And specially asked that Celtic should provide the opposition in this his final testimonial match. Full house and the Celtic side applauding one of the truly great figures in international football, Alfredo Di Stefano. And after all the pre-match ceremony were underway, John Clark, Bertie Ald, one would expect the pace might be a little bit less frenetic tonight, it's been a long season for both sides. Bertie Ald, Willie Wallace, Gemmell in the left intruding, looking for the return, almost gets it, so Gemmell's prepared to run anyway if no one else is. Gets the ball again, cuts inside, right foot shot, oh well held by Junquera, almost a repeat of the cup final goal there, good save by the keeper. Celtic defence coping with anything that uh, Real have been able to throw at them, Willie O'Neill brings that out, Bertie Ald. Wallace, Wallace lining up for a shot but not much danger in that one looked as if it might have got the deflection but in fact didn't Jimmy Johnson close ball control posing problems but his shot drifts well wide and after 15 minutes it was only going to be a token appearance and Alfredo De Stefano has decided that's it he'll go off the substitute warming up is Grosso And again, Real Nipin tidy things up. Velasquez brings the ball away. Johnson back covering every step of the way. Chance for Serena. It's a good save again by John Fallon. He did well to hold that. Only about eight yards out. Real still in the attack, oh, a dangerous hanger, well tipped over by John Fallon coming out for the night from Ronnie Simpson's shadow. Gemmel, oh a tremendous save by Humkera there, he saw that late and dive, turned it aside, no score at half time, the great sign over the Bernabas Stadium, Johnson beginning to turn it on now and the Real defence have really no uh, answer to this at all, well that's one answer. In a friendly match, that's a fairly hefty tackle. Piri put it in. Celtic turning the screw now a bit. Another good save by Hunkera. Up to Johnson. Johnson gives the impression now of thoroughly enjoying this. Sock round the ankle. Standing on the ball. Suddenly picking up gear. Past one man, past two. And that's a despairing tackle. Hento, one of the great names in European football. Serena again, though. No? And Celtic defence just managed to get it away. Johnson back very deep. Real really have no answer when he runs at them. They don't see this too much in European football. Johnson going right. Oh, I'll pass through to Lennox. Lennox shoots and scores. Faint hearted appeal for offside, but he beat the trap. 1 0. Johnson again, he was really three quarters the maker of this goal. Just when it looked as if he might drift right, he slits open the defence, and Bobby Lennox just slides it along the ground past the keeper. Timed his run perfectly. Celtic again. Lennox. The crowd now very much willing to applaud anything Celtic do. Especially this man, Johnson. Johnson to Lennox, cut back. Oh, and uh, Willie Wallace, I think, will be a bit annoyed with that. Snatched it in his left foot. Johnson. <laughs> John Clark, even John Clark, who's normally a work-a-day player, turning on the style now, who can send a 40-yard pass easy. And that's McNeil coming forward, you don't see that too often. 
but the pass goes adrift. Oh, it looked like a free kick there, but in fact the match is still going on. I think Real are just baffled about what this wee fella's doing. Oh. <laughs> and Celtic got a corner. Celtic have really played some glorious football tonight against what's one of the great sides of Europe. And that's the finish. Celtic have won in Madrid 1-0. And in the course of this season, they have beaten Manchester United, Inter Milan and the Real Madrid. And that's an inconsiderable hat-trick to have, to your credit. Celtic coming back out to take their bow and the rapturous reception they're getting from the Real supporters show that these Spaniards, very knowledgeable, consider that the Parkhead side are worthy champions of Europe.